You want to control your life, but life isn't a science experiment. You can't contain your world forever. Try doing one thing that scares you over break, okay? Yeah. This serves as an entry voucher. For Minos, Minos escape, escape rooms. rooms. Be the, the first, first to escape, escape our, our most immersive, immersive room, room yet. And win a million dollars. So, uh, when does the game start? I think this is the escape room. We should look for clues. What are we looking for here? Anything that looks like a puzzle or a code. It looks like an oven dial. That looks real. It's kind of warming up in here. Uh, excuse me. We'd like our hit now, please. Well, that's creepy as hell. Is it getting hotter? How do we get out of here? It's Fahrenheit 451. Got it. about immersive. What's wrong with you? That was real. Whoa. Dumb question. Are we outside? As soon as we get this figured out, as soon as we get the hell out of here. Who would do this? They know every move that we're making. They knew everything about us. This is my hospital bed. Me too. They made these rooms for us. Have you ever seen things that weren't there before? I am not imagining this. Surviving is a choice. Come on out, let me out of here now. Yep. 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 That's why they chose us. And they all look. Can I speak to Detective Baker or Barnes? They're looking after my husband's case. Is this about a restraining order? No. And they're from the police? No. That estate. Nothing good ever came out of it. I don't understand it. If you can talk, why doesn't he just talk? Do you need money? I'm fine. <gasps> get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Who else is here? It's just the three of us. I have two little kids. We just lost their dad. I don't know where to stash this. I don't want any part of this. I don't. Nobody knows I'm here. Nobody knows this is here. That's perfect. Five days. I give you a cut. Everyone's laughing. I can't have drugs in the house. <laughs> I stole that bag off Miller's mom. So I'll be looking for you. Sarah, you have two children. I know. Tell me where he is. I'm aware that your husband died. He was murdered. It must be difficult for you. Oh, the fact that the police have done nothing to find his killer. Better get your shit together. I mean with the children. No, they're my children. I'm their mother. And I love them. I love you, Daddy. I love you, sweetheart. You're a brave girl. So, what's the story, young lady? We're on our way to Minneapolis. It was an accident. I fell. Daddy! Well, sooner or later, everybody does. Right, Dad? I nearly had you, didn't I? Since you're traveling, I'd like to do a CAT scan. Daddy's gonna take care of us. I'm gonna wait right here for you when you get out. It's been hours. You know how much longer it's gonna be? What was her name again? Perry Monroe. I'm not seeing a Perry Monroe. There hasn't been a scan since 9 o'clock this morning. So what are you telling me? They're not here. Got the whole day in front of me. Not finding any Monroe. I just want to see my wife and daughter. Do you have any footage? Don't record in the treatment areas. They're under the camera. Can't see them because of the chairs. You get a better angle. 
you saw my little girl. You treated her on. All I've got to go on is your word that they were here at all. I think I'm making them up. Why would I have my daughter's scarf, but not her? There's something wrong with this place. I showed you the picture. That could be anybody. We're as concerned about them as you are. Search the hospital! Nobody needs to get hurt. I mean, he's a head case. Put down all your guns! What have you done to my family? Where'd you take my family?